Hey guys, welcome back to Cyber Geek and welcome to Cyber Geek. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how can you download True Mega without any download limit, and yes, without using any VPN or changing your IP address. In uh, YouTube, you might have seen previously there are so many videos which talks about how can you use a VPN to change your IP address and you will get extra download limit. But in reality, when you are doing it right now, it's not working anymore. Might be it works for some of you. But personally, I have tried so many times and all the time I have wasted my data and it's not working. You might change your 6 hour waiting time to 30 minutes through your VPN but even after waiting 30 minutes, still your download is not gonna start. So it's a wastage of time, right? So there is one effective way through which you can easily do the download without any problem there is only one limitation is your data pack so if your data pack is over you cannot download it anymore so let's see how we can do that and if my voice get weird throughout the video please ignore it i have in fever and cold so let's focus on the video not on my voice okay so what we are going to do today is that uh, you need to have a mega account first of all where you can store all your files so just like this uh, you can see over here i have some files stored over here and we are going to make something like this look like that and above you can see over here it says heroku app.com so you got it correct that we are going to create one heroku app of mega which is similar to that but in here we do not have any download limitation and we can download it as much as possible but uh, how can we do that let's see first so few things you need to keep in mind is that first of all you need a mega account okay and then you need a heroku account so over here just go to heroku.com and do your sign up okay now over here you might see some applications just wait uh, i'll just sign out from here right in my case uh, it's showing for login just wait yeah so once you come for the first time on heroku it will tell you for sign up just give your first name last name email address you can use your original we are not doing any illegal activity over here so you will be safe okay and for the role you can choose whatever you are i have chosen student and country your country preferred languages are given as programming languages select python or whatever you want to do that fill the captcha and then create an account and that's all you have to do so once your create account creation has been done simply log in and leave it okay so first of all uh, before doing that let's uh, have one mega file which we are going to import and then we are going to download it so for example you find some uh, mega link through telegram or any website and you want to download that right so but if you go and download certain files you can see over here this file is 717 mb this one is uh, 509 for a few minutes you think okay i can download that but unfortunately if you want to download some other mega files obviously you are going to get the limit over there and your data might get wasted so what we are going to do uh, for example this is the mega file which you are going to download first you need to do is import so import to my cloud okay so it will import to your mega account so uh, keep it inside a new folder so I'm creating a new folder name as Wi-Fi where we are going to store our new file so create the folder and then click on import so inside the Wi-Fi our file will be imported so just wait for few minutes and that process will be done so let's just close this tab it's not needed anymore and yes now on the github page you can see over here we have a uh, mega rc clone index heroku if you want to go through this you can go through that but i'll be covering everything in the video itself what problem you can face what are the issues you can you are going to face and how to deal with that within the one video i'll clear it out everything okay so just wait for a few minutes okay so the import has been done as you can see yeah Pentest Academy Wi-Fi Security you can see uh, the files are being imported inside your mega account now what we're gonna do go on the github okay scroll below and click on deploy to Heroku remember you must have to be logged in inside your Heroku app or else it will not work 
right so i'm just closing unnecessary tabs right now uh, let's just close this one as well so once you click deploy to heroku something like this will get open where you have to create an application and it is very very easy process so just give the name of your application just like mega download okay so it's not available downloads okay this is not available so one to one yeah this is available so just give your app name which is available and then uh, just scroll below and here it is asking username and password so the username and password which you have to mention here is your mega account username and password so let me just uh, give my password over here okay so i have mentioned my username and password now let's just deploy the app so once you click on the deploy the app you have to wait at least two to three minutes to complete all the process so just wait a bit okay so now here you can see the deployment has been successfully completed all you have to do you have to click on view remember most of the time uh, you will get uh, this interface over here or sometimes you get as uh, app not created or something error is there so wait for few more minutes and then try to click on the view button and it will show you because uh, it is working the Heraku is giving you free services so it might sometime get uh, delay but it will work fine okay so once your creation has been done now you can see it looks exactly like your uh, mega account but it is not the exact uh, it does not have any download limit and it's just a replica of that one so you can still access all your files to this which you can see over here and you can download them one by one the only disadvantage of this is i will show you something uh, for example i have this course over here and you can see there are all folders and you do not see any download option for the folders but if you go inside the folders you can open these files over here like this right and if you have idm you can easily download them right but if you don't have if you don't have idm and still you can download it with the help of click on the three dots below and click on the download button and your download see your download will start okay yeah so this is how you can do that all the download you have to access each and every folder and you you can download it uh, all the files uh, this is the only tedious process you have to do but this gives you unlimited downloading options okay so until and unless your data pick is not offered you can download whatever you want so you can see over here the wi-fi one over here right so you can just uh, open the files and you can do your download process with the help of idm i suggest use idm because even though it is stopped you can resume it with the help of uh, the options which idm provides you so that's not a big deal of that one yes now what happens if you by mistakely close this button over here so oh my god i mistakely closed it and what should i do right now right so you might be kind of confused no you don't have to worry about it all you have to do is that you have to go to heroku.com right just go back to your heroku and if you see here this box for a box just click on dashboard if you click on dashboard you will see all the applications which you have created so we have created this down mega downloads one to one so go back over there and you can see your all app application activity right some sometimes uh, for example what you can do uh, let's just go back to go back you can just press on go up so it will go back okay sometimes what happen is that uh, this might not get load so what should you do right it might give you an error so what you can do inside this application click on more and click on restart all dinos and then click on the restart all dino and it the application will restart itself so 
you will uh, not face any like uh, the application is not there error or any kind of error over there but uh, right now what also you can do is you can simply bookmark it like uh, my mega download something you can name it and you can simply bookmark it okay i'll just write mega download downloads and i can save it so through my bookmark i can easily access this but sometimes you might get error so you can fix the error through the restart app right now one more issue is that what if you add a few more courses over here so how should i uh, get the update of the few more courses over here for example i'm going to access the same link just assume that we are downloading different course okay so just assume this is uh, not the wi-fi course it is something else and i want to import it back on my uh, on my mega so for this i'm going to create an account and i'm just gonna name it as a linux uh, assuming that this is a linux course and i'm just gonna import it over here just wait for a few minutes and it will be done as well and yeah uh, one more thing guys is that uh, there is also a limitation over here you can see below it says 20 gb so you can store only 20 gb inside your mega account but if you delete it like for example if i want to delete the wi-fi course remove it from here go to the rush bin okay and uh, uh, remove it from here as well it just works as a recycle bin so once you remove it anything from the rush bin your data will be free so there is also a limit on mega to store only 20 gb so you can store only 20 gb but you can download as much as possible right so let's close this one because we are already having there yeah you can see uh, linux file has came over here and it has the same course but we are uh, naming it linux and if i refresh this let's see whether the linux name is coming yes unfortunately the linux name is not coming so whether we are going to create the same application one again i mean the new application no if you might remember what you have to do you have to simply restart all and now i'm going to restart it because i have just updated my mega account and there is nothing updated on the server of heroku so once i restart the application and if i go back and if i do the refresh boom we got the linux course over here and you can download the same usual process you do not need any vpn you do not need changing ip address you can download as much as possible so i hope that uh, this method helps you and this method personally i have been as you can see i have so many courses over here i have downloaded all the courses if it is a file you can download it directly okay so do not worry anything like your download gets stuck or it will not get completed you can simply use your idm download any manager you have it or you can do simple download through windows as well so all the links i will leave it in the description box for the github you know how to go and deploy your heroku app now how to create it and you must remember your mega link username and password and then you must create your heroku account first to create the application and how you can update your heroku account uh, of mega how can you update it and if you face any error which means your application not running how can you restart it once again and you can fix that error as well so that's all how can you download through mega as much as you want without any limit and without any vpn and any other stuff so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll meet in the next video till then goodbye